If you're new to creating content and you want to improve your audio game, then can a $35 microphone be good enough? We're checking out the F-Juice SL168 and finding out. We have the all black model, but there are blue and pink versions available. The stand and the microphone are made out of plastic, which feel really lightweight, and it has a metallic head. Two dials are on the back, which control the mic volume, and the other is for the headphones, as it comes with inbuilt audio monitoring, so you can listen to yourself to make sure that your levels are on point. There's a button on the front, which allows you to mute the microphone and to go through the different modes. The green light means that you are in non-noise reduction mode. If you hold that button down for a second, it will flip over to the blue setting, which is the noise reduction mode. Tap it once and that will mute your microphone. On the bottom is the USB-C connector to pair it up and use it. The 3 8 mounting hole, but we also get the 3 8 to 5 8 converter in the box, which means you can attach it to multiple style arms. The screws on either side of the stand allow you to completely detach it and to mount it onto a boom arm. Be aware though that if you have a metal ring on your arm like we have on our 3 8 one, then this will cover up the USB-C port preventing you from using it. The other style arm is fine though as the converter generates plenty of room to plug it in. We also get the headphone socket for the audio monitoring. If you prefer to use it in the provided stand, then there is foam on the bottom to prevent it from causing scratches to your surfaces. It comes with its own pop filter which is really useful. It's made of plastic with some kind of synthetic material on the front. It has flexible bands on the inside which go over the head and this provides a tight fit with not much movement and this should help remove a lot of air being pushed into the microphone when you're talking. We've had a quick listen back to the audio and to be honest it's sounding pretty good. We have found that you do need the microphone quite close to your mouth for it to be able to pick you up. Our window settings are currently set on 100 for the microphone volume and we are halfway on the microphone itself. But if we continue speaking and move the microphone away from our mouth to roughly around a foot or so away you should be able to pick up that we've lost a lot of the volume. And when we turn it up to 100%, this is the kind of audio you can expect from roughly around a foot away. So you will want this to be fairly close to your mouth. The one benefit you're going to get with it being close as well is that the audio is going to sound much better when it is close rather than further away, as well as you won't be able to pick up much in the way of background noise. This is everything on non-noise reduction mode. If we flick over to noise reduction mode, this is the kind of audio you can expect. We are still halfway on the microphone if we go to 100%, so we are completely maxed out on the microphone and on our Windows PC. If we have the microphone next to our mouth with noise reduction enabled, this is the kind of audio you can expect. So let's get into a few tests. This is what the audio is going to sound like when we are using the pop filter. This is what the audio sounds like without using the pop filter. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. 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 As this is a cardioid microphone, it picks up the sound directly through the front. We will be turning the microphone round so you get yourself an idea of what the sound sounds like if you speak into the back and the sides. We are back to the front again. This is using the noise reduction mode. We're going to turn the microphone around. We are now towards the back of the microphone so you shouldn't be able to hear as much as the front. We will continue turning to the side and we will come back to the front. We are going to test out the mute button so we'll continue speaking. We will press the the audio monitoring works fine. We did find that we needed to turn this on to the max volume settings to be able to hear ourselves. So it does the job, just not very loudly. So you've got an idea of what this microphone sounds like, but how do you think it compares against these more expensive microphones? This is the kind of audio you can expect from the Fine Fine K678, which is currently available on Amazon.co.uk for £62.99. This is a microphone test using the Blue Snowball, which is a well-known microphone. This is the version with the different polar patterns on there, and it's currently available for £74.99 on Amazon.co.uk. This is the kind of audio you can expect from the Alvoxcon A800 USB microphone. It is currently available on Amazon.co.uk for £49.99. 
All the audio you've heard from this microphone has been straight out of the box. There's been no filters or any kind of equalization done to the microphone. This is the experience you get when you first plug it in. But if you are somebody who likes to stream and uses OBS Studio, then be sure to check out this video because it's going to make not just this microphone, but any microphone sound better.